To find out, we enlisted guard dog experts Nate Bonilla and Michael DeBruzzo. Then, with Michelle's permission, <laughs> our burglar bursts in. I hope she tries to protect me. I believe she's gonna bite, but I'd like to find out. I think Frodo is really gonna go after the attacker. This is called flight. Her tail is tucked. She's actually looking for a way out. Thanks, Barry. Thanks. <laughs> I'm a little surprised she almost took off. Ruby was curious, she was worried about you, but she was not willing to take on the attacker. Oh Sorry, God. Kevin, but Ruby is a win. My dog <laughs> failed the death. They did amazing! Yeah, he really they did, did amazing! He goes oh, right in between, puts himself in the line of fire, and then and continues then... to drive him out. Once they realized that something was wrong, they really both stepped up. You know? I like how they work together. If you want a dog that will really protect you, it's not about the breed. These dogs naturally know, they naturally have a sense of danger, and they naturally will show instinctively uh, protective behavior like barking or, you know, making a lot of noise, and then some dogs will bite. Most people really do not know what their dog would do. I think dogs are a lot more protective of their owners, and uh, having the owners around gives them, um, gives them more reason to react. Would most dogs react in the same way? I would think so, yes. Yeah, yeah. This, this is typical. They know how to fight another dog. They don't know how to fight a man. So it's, it's different for them, okay, to when they look at a man. You know, they, they have to size it up. Work. What am I supposed to do here? To train a dog like that for your house, I mean, you wouldn't ha be able to have any visitors. You would have to lock the dog up.